Are you ready to learn how to create these 5 cute designs only using a toothpick? All of them are very easy and fast to make. Hey guys, you asked for it, so here it is! Third episode of the Toothpick Nail Art. I'm going to show you 5, actually 6 designs that you can create only by using a toothpick. The designs we are making are heart balloon in the clouds, kisses, heart leopard print, puppy paws, dotted exclamation mark and dotted heart design. Quite some hearts going on there, right? Well, Valentine's Day is just around the corner. So go grab some toothpicks and let's perk up those nails. You guys know the drill. Start off with the base coat to protect your nails against staining. Especially if you're using darker colors or strong pinks, this step is absolutely essential. Hi, I'm Mr. Toothpick. Friends call me Douchepick. Whatever. I love nail art and we're gonna make some designs today. Now our nails are ready and we can jazz them up with some color. The first design we're making is a beautiful heart balloon in the sky. Start by painting your nail in blue. I need to apply two coats to get an opaque result. Now we're ready for the heart, but before I'll show you some tips on how to work with a toothpick to get smaller or larger dots. All toothpicks are very pointy on the ends, which is great when you need to make small dots. When you want the dots to be bigger, just cut the end like this. Since the toothpicks I'm using have this triangular shape, I also need to cut them along like so. If cutting the end of the toothpick isn't enough and you want your dots to be even bigger, dip the toothpick into the polish and let it dry. Dip it again and let it dry. You'll see how the drop of the polish on the tip of the toothpick is getting bigger and bigger. When the size is perfect, draw a heart by making a V-shape. To get the color right, I need to go over it again, but you can skip the step if your background blue isn't that dark. When you're happy with the heart, draw a thin black string hanging down. We'll come back to the balloon later when it's dry. Meanwhile, let's dress the sky up with some fluffy clouds. Just dip toothpick in white and make bunches of dots close together to form clouds. Make as many clouds as you like, I made many as you can see, they are just so cute! Now it's time to give the balloon a 3D feel by drawing a tiny white stripe on one side. Apply a layer of fast drying top coat to finish off this adorable design. I think this one will be perfect for Valentine's or just any other day. You can wear it as an accent with the rest of the nails painted solid blue or you can make these cute clouds on all the nails. Next design is perfect for all the animal lovers. Start off by applying two coats of this iridescent pinky nude shade. I really love this color for every day, especially when I don't have time to make a proper manicure. I would just paint one layer of this polish and it makes such a big difference. Apply some black polish diagonally on the tip of the nail like this. If you got some polish on the skin around the nail, clean it with a Q-tip soaked in acetone. Now start making red dots on the edge of the black line. I want to make small bows, therefore I'm making pairs of two dots together, leaving some space between the bows. Now we're going to make three adorable puppy paws. As before with the heart, dip the toothpick into the polish and let it dry. Dip it again and let it dry. See how our drop of polish on the tip of the toothpick is getting bigger? Now you can make three white dots like this. Besides each of them, we need to make three tiny dots. For these super small dots, you don't need to cut the toothpick, just use its original pointy tip. How amazingly adorable is this one? <laughs> I can't even, it's just better than words. Lastly, apply a top coat to protect this gorgeous design. I've always wanted a puppy, now at least I have this sweet puppy design on my nails. For the third design, I'll show you how to make a funky leopard print nails. I'm first applying two layers of white polish because the orange I'm using on top pops so much more with the white under. To make a heart, draw a V-shape like this. I know this doesn't look like a heart yet, but trust me, it will look gorgeous in the end. I'm making four hearts in three different colors, light pink, green and medium pink. Dip the toothpick into a taupey grayish color or you can just use black and start outlining the edges of the hearts. Don't outline the hearts all around, you want them open so you can squeeze more people you love in there. So just make some lines here and there, but make sure to outline enough of it so you can tell it's a heart shape. 
Lastly, make some random dots and marks to cover the empty spaces between the hearts. I love the colors I used for this a bit different take on the leopard print. The design looks so cool and different. It's definitely one of my favorite designs to wear. Don't forget to apply a generous amount of the fast drying top coat, which will bring the design together and protect it so it will last you a long time. Next design is a bit more girly and would be perfect for the upcoming Valentine's or just any other day as love is always important. Apply two coats of pinky nude polish. Then apply some white on the tip of the nail diagonally like this. The easiest way to do this is by rotating your finger while keeping the polish brush steady. Next start making small green dots on the edge of the white. Here I'm making the dots close to each other. Now it's time to show your nails some love by giving them two sweet cartoon kisses. Make two lines to get kind of a reverse double V shape. This is the upper lip. For the lower lip, make a dot first and then drag the color to each side. Voila! You get the perfect lip shape. You can also apply the white polish all over the nail and then make a lot of kisses on top. I love how this one turned out. To finish off, apply a layer of fast drying top coat and here's our finished kiss nail art. It's so easy, yet it looks perfect. I'm definitely going to wear this one more often, as it's really quick and simple to make, but it looks fabulous. The last design is a pinky dotted exclamation mark. For the base color, I chose white, so I'm painting two coats of white polish. I'm going to make a stencil using a tape, which will help me achieve a neater and more precise design. Fold the tape, draw half of the exclamation mark on like this and cut it out. If you're precise enough and don't need a stencil, lucky you, you can skip the step. When you unfold the tape, you get this triangular hole. Stick it a few times at the back of your hand to make the glue less strong. Now you can stick the stencil on the middle of the nail like this. Next start dotting the polish inside the edges of the tape. I recommend making some small and some large dots. I decided to use three pink shades for my exclamation mark. When you're done, simply remove the tape and you're left with a lovely triangle shape. You can now add some more dots here and there to perfect it. In the end, I'm making a big dot below the triangle and my exclamation sign is complete. Apply a generous amount of fast drying top coat to bring the design together and to add some shine. Using this technique, you can create different shapes like a star, flower or a heart, which I'll show you as a bonus. Draw half of the heart on the folded piece of tape, cut it out and stick on the nail. Now start making dots of different sizes inside the edges. As you can see, I used this design as an accent on my ring finger. I painted all the other nails minty green. I love how girly and cute this manicure turned out. The heart and exclamation designs remind me of a mosaic and I love how you can play with different colors and shapes to make countless designs using this technique. Why buying nail art tools when all you need is a simple toothpick? I can't believe this was already my third video with 5 toothpick nail art designs. I really hope you like them and let me know which design is your favorite in the comments below. If you try to make any of these designs yourself, you must share them with me on my social media because it makes me so happy to see your recreations. You promised this time. Also, if you liked the video, don't forget to rate it and share with your friends. If you do that, I may film another episode of the toothpick nails. So now I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day in the sun. I hope you have an awesome day wherever you are. Love you, bye! Also, <coughs> I'm going to show you five, actually six. <laughs> hey guys, you asked for it, so here it is. Third pick, third pick, <laughs> third pick episode.